The Halyard Hitch. Hello everybody. Today's little knot is, as I said before, the Halyard Hitch. Now, the thing with this knot, what first of all, don't get it confused with the poacher's noose or the scaffold knot. It looks slightly similar, it's similar in, stru in structure and the way that it is tied, but it is different. And I just, when I was researching this knot to show you, I went onto a website where they actually showed the poacher's noose or the scaffold knot and they called it the halyard hitch. But no, the halyard hitch is different and if you do know the other two knots, you will see the difference instantly as you tie it. The next thing, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to tie it onto, in this particular case, a snap shackle, but I'll so show you how to also tie it around a bar or pole. Um, the other thing is, with regards to this particular knot, it's a sailing knot and it's a line that was used to hoist either a ladder, sail, flag or yard. The term comes from to haul yards. Hell yard. Haul yards. I suppose that's the same. Yep. Sounds very similar. So anyway, without further ado, let's get on and let's get knotting. So, the first way of tying this, we've got our snap shackle here, and on our snap shackle, what we want to do is we want to tie it onto the end where there's a ring where you can't actually physically open it. And the first thing that I do is I get hold of my working end and I pass it down through the hole at the top of my snap shackle. Take a little bit through, because it is slightly cord hungry, this one. And then the next thing that you do is I get hold of my working end and I pass it over my standing end like so, bring it round again and then allow it to cross over so it's crossing both at this point here. Then take it around again so we're going now towards the left hand side, take it round once, take it round twice and just pull it up, get the excess pulled up and then on the final turn here, you'll see I've still got a gap here between my snap shackle and my rope. And what I'm going to do is just pass the working end down through that gap. So pass it down through that gap, pull through the excess, and there we have it. We now have it tied. Now the thing with this particular knot is, for it to stay secure, we now need to pull on the bulk of the knot itself and the standing end, just pull it up and as you pull it up tight, it then starts pulling up against our final tuck of our working end there. And then that is now snug and secure and there we have it. We have the halyard hitch. So that's the halyard hitch. And now what I'll do is I'll untie this and I'll show you how to tie it around a pole. Okay, so the next way of tying it, I've got my trusty pole here. And the first thing I'm going to do is pass the working end of my rope over the top of my pole like so. And so that's left hand side's the working end. The next thing I do is I pass the working end over the standing end and what we're going to do now is work that way as we coil it round. So take it over, bring it round the back of everything once, round the back of everything twice. So now we've got our coils there and then the final thing I do here is, just let me show you this, I've got a gap in here so I'm going to take this working end and I'm going to bring it round and pass it through that gap. So we pass it through that gap, and then the next thing I can do is just get hold of my standing end, hold of the knot at the same time, and pull it all up, and you can see here now, I've got a nice, secure knot at this point here, which is known as the halyard hitch. Now the beauty of this knot is, it's easy to tie, it's relatively easy to untie, but if it's been under a bit of load, it can sometimes be a little bit difficult to untie. But the disadvantages of this knot is it cannot be tied or untied under load. But to untie this, all I do is get hold of the actual clump of the knot itself, pull back, and you can see as I pull back, I can then quickly 
and easily undo it. So there we go. That was the Halyard Hitch. So once again, thanks for watching. If you liked it, if you hated it, but even if you hated it, please do leave me a comment down below and tell me how I can improve these videos. So once again, thanks for watching and see you again next time. Bye-bye.